birds, most of them pelicans, and eight marine mammals have been found dead so far. Weeks after our parent company, Comcast, abandoned its bid to buy Time Warner Cable, Charter Communications today agreed to purchase the cable giant for $55 billion. NBC4's Gordon Tokamatsu is live in Exposition Park right now with what this means for you. Gordon? Well, Chuck, we came here to USC's business school uh, to find out what it does mean to you because this is a huge business story today. Billions of dollars will literally change hands if the feds green light this deal. But we wondered, what does it mean to the rest of us? If you're a Wall Street insider or you've got millions of dollars in the game, the numbers here may get all your attention. $56 billion, a merger between cable giants Charter and Time Warner that creates an even bigger company with a huge market share. The number that comes up most frequently is about 24%. But for most of us, it's the rates that matter. Will my cable bill go up, stay the same, or maybe even drop when a merger like this happens? Uh, rarely. Do they produce lower rates because there's less competition? We asked USC's Ira Kalb about what Charter's CEO told our sister network, CNBC, this morning. A hint, it seems, that cable rates may actually drop. It's about bringing, bringing better services to the country and to customers and expanding the footprint upon which those services are delivered. He probably is trying to get customers to not be against the deal. One promise Thomas Rutledge made in an interview with the LA Times is that he will bring Dodger baseball back to Southern California, possibly within the next few weeks. It would break the impasse over broadcast rights and fees that have kept the games off the air for thousands of frustrated fans. Kalb says it's hard to say if Rutledge will deliver on that promise, but he'll say anything at this point to make this deal acceptable for federal regulators and the customers he expects to serve. He wants people to welcome him and not, uh, you know, fight this merger. Indeed, Charter's CEO told the LA Times that several cities, including Glendale, Burbank, Malibu, and Long Beach, customers at those cities, in those cities, will be getting Dodgers baseball within the next few weeks. Reporting live from USC, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News. Well, still ahead. Uh